Hi, it's Karen Sperling. I thought I would show you a quick little demo of how to add snow to a design. Here is a design that I did. And here is the snow I added to it. And I'll show you how I did that. And then I'll show you how I created this snow. And I'm going to go into the magic wand. I'm going to select the white areas and I'm going to go copy, go over to my design and paste. And my snow comes in as a layer. With the layer adjuster tool selected, I press Option Command on Mac, Alt Control on Windows, and type a T, which reveals the control handles. I'm going to press Shift and click and drag to resize my snow. Press Return. And then I can move the snow where I like. So let's see how to create the snow. It's really easy and it's a lot of fun. I'm going to press Command on Mac, Control on Windows, and type a D to deselect. And I'm going to fill this whole thing with this color red by pressing Option on Mac, Alt on Windows to access the eyedropper and clicking and going Edit Fill. Okay, so here's how I created the snow. This little thingy is called Mirror Painting. I'm going to click this and it re reveals these options on the property bar. I'm going to click on this kaleidoscope icon and you see that it creates these little guides. I'm going to increase the number of guides, highlight this field right here type a 6 and hit enter. So now I have six guides. I'm going to choose the brush in the toolbox and I'm going to use Painter 2015's particle brush. So here's particles and here are all the variants. And it's really easy. You just choose a variant. Of course, I've experimented with all these, so, you know, just play around with all, the, all of them and see what they all do. And I'll tell you which ones I found that I like for this. I'm going to start with the Flow Sparkler Glow. And what this does when you paint on this, it if you paint on one of these guides, it appears on several of the guides, so I'll show you what I mean. So that's pretty cool, right? I forgot to choose white, so that's my next thing, and here we go. So you can see it starts to create a nice snowflake. Then I'm going to go into Gravity Concept Build and just put a little definition on my snowflake. When you're done, to get out of the guides, 
click back on the kaleidoscope in the toolbox and click reset mirror painting and that'll shut off the guides and now I'll go into my magic wand and select my snowflake that looks pretty good and Command C on Mac, Control C on Windows, copy. And I'm going to go over to my design and paste. And there's my snowflake. And I'm going to resize it and put it into my design. And that's how I added snowflakes to a design in Corel Painter. You'll find information for editing painters' brushes in both my Painting for Photographers books at Amazon. And by the way, though they were written for Painter 12, they're compatible with X3 and 2015 because the interface is the same. If you'd like to use brushes that have been edited for you, I offer plug and play brushes with all my Artistry Online classes and in my bonus brush volumes, all available at my website, artistrymag.com. Thanks for watching.